For our lesson today, we are going to be looking at different strategies that we can use to learn some of those words, those tricky words, and those words that we need to know by the end of year two. Okay, so the first thing I'd like you to do is tell your grown-up what spelling strategies that you already know and that we've already looked at in our spelling and phonics lessons. Give you a couple of seconds just to tell your grown-up, see if you can remember. Now I'm going to show you some of them. Okay, so the first one that we're going to look at is look, say, cover, write, check. Now we use this quite a lot in our phonics lessons. We look at the word, we say it out loud, and then we cover it and have a go at writing it from memory. You then move your hand or the piece of paper that's hiding the word and check have you got it right. If you haven't, have another go. Look at the word, say the word, cover the word, check after you've written it. Okay, so that's our look, copy, cover, write, check. Okay, here are two other ones that you could use, okay? You could segment the word into your phoneme, so using your phonics, okay? Or you could split syllables, so like we used, we like to do in Dre, banana, watermelon, okay? You can use your syllables, you can't have your syllables in a word and use that to help you spell. Or you can sit, segment the word into phonemes. That's using your phonic skills, okay? Quick write is another one that we like to use in our phonics lessons. And you write down the word as fast as you can in one minute. You have to spell it correctly. And sometimes we have a little competition to see who can write it the quickest, whether it's girls or boys. How many you can write and try and beat your own challenge. It only counts if you spell it correctly, okay? So if you wrote it 10 times, excellent. If you only spelled it correctly two times, we need a little bit more practice, okay? So that's a quick write. You can get your adult at home to time in. Put one minute on your watch or on their phone or on your computer or your tablet and see how fast you can write it. Okay, this one is quite a fun one, okay? You can draw, write the word and then draw around it to show the shape. This helps you remember which are the tall letters that touch the top line which letters are descenders, which go below and touch the bottom line, and which ones are just our normal letters, okay? So just like I've, I've done here, I know that the T, T, and L are high, and the Y's are low, so it's high, middle, high, middle, high, high, low. So that can help me when I'm writing it out. You can also draw an image around the word to help you remember it. For example, monarchy is about kings and queens and royalty. So what I've done here is I've drawn crowns and kings to help me remember. And I've drawn it on particular letters. Maybe the ones that I find tricky are the ones that I can remember it with to help me out. Okay. We've also got pyramid words, okay? So what you would do is you'd write the first letter on the first line, the first and the second letter on the next line, and it would get bigger and bigger until the bottom part will be the full word, okay? So a pyramid, it looks exactly like a pyramid and you get what, add an extra letter each time until you get the full word, okay? This one is a very creative and a very fun one, but it's quite tricky as well. You can look for words within words, okay? So in the word interesting, I have the word in, I have the word rest, I have the word in again, so in, rest, in, I know I've got some letters in between. And I've also got resting here, okay? So one way I could remember to spell it is by those words within the words. And this one is very a, pop, a very popular one in Dre class. Rainbow write, okay? You can write out every sound. So using your phonics, every sound in a different color. Or you can write out the word in pencil and then draw around each letter five more times using a different colour pencil, okay? We like a rainbow, right? Okay? And then last but not least, this is a good one, mnemonics, okay? So mnemonics are kind of little rhymes that help you remember. And each word starts with the first letter. So, for, for the word silly, you can remember it as sometimes iguanas like lemon yogurts. What I remembered at school was how to spell because, because big 
Elephants can always understand smaller elephants. You guys have learnt some brilliant ones. Betty eats carrots and Uncle sucks eggs. Okay. And another one that you learnt was snakes and insects dancing to help you spell said. Okay. So what I'd like you to do is choose three or four strategies of the ones that we've just looked at. Okay, and I'd like you to spell at least 10 of the year one and two words. Okay, using those strategies, you could use a rainbow write, look right check, the syllables, okay? Complete it in your book or get your grown up to record you practicing and then share it with your teacher. Now, I don't know which strategies you're gonna pick, so I'm very interested to see if you want to experiment and maybe try ones that we haven't done before or whether you want to go with your favorite. So a rainbow write, a quick write, okay? Let me know how you get on, but keep practicing your spellings. I'll attach it to this Google assignment and in the PowerPoint, the words that you need. Any questions, send them my way, but let's see what you can get on with. See you later, year two.